Okay, Assalamualaikum and uh, good morning again. Uh, in this session, uh, we are going to learn on how to do a question on MFRS 140, Investment Property 1, question from July 2021, Set 1, which involve company called Sesedak Rasa. So, for your information, this question 2 consists of three parts, which is part A, B and C. And all parts relate to the same company. So you must be careful if the same question uh, or the different parts of a question relates to the same company. Most of the time is that the uh, different uh, section will relate to different company. But this is different in this question where this company called Sesedak Rasa. Uh, if you can see here, this is the name of the company, Sesedak Rasa. It's a fast food manufacturing company located in Kuantan and you have the information on 1st of January 2018 on the acquisition of a building. You acquired a building in Pekan for 8 million. So that is the purchase price of the building, 8 million. You also incur legal and transfer fees of 550,000 and uh, 40,000 respectively. So these three things that you have here, which is the 8 million, 550,000 and 40,000 is actually the initial cost. So you need to go and uh, uh, calculate the initial cost on that date later. So you have other information on that uh, building where you are informed that the building has a useful life of 50 years. So the useful life of the building is 50 years. When you first purchase the building, you estimate the useful life of that building will last another 50 years. Um, the building was rented out. So when the building was rented out, that building is actually an IP. Uh, because it was held for rental. So you need to mention about the initial recognition that it is being accounted for as uh, investment property. When was the date on 1st of January 2018? On the date of acquisition. So on the date of acquisition here, you have it here, date of acquisition. The initial cost of the IP building will be uh, 8 million plus your uh, 550,000 plus 0 0.04 million. So this one will give you the initial cost. And that initial cost would be 8590, 8.59 million. This happened on the date of acquisition, 1st of January 18. That is what happened. And it will last for a few years, the transaction of this company. So this is the first thing that you need to take note. On the date of um, initial recognition, you have the initial cost and you need to talk about the initial measurement later if you look at the requirement uh, part B later. So before that, we just read the question before we read the requirement. So you have the B building being rented out. So this building is going to be uh, classify as IP. It is an IP on 1st of January 18. And you, because it was held for rental, uh, so rental building, the rental is expected to be 400,000 per month. So you will have to consider that every year. So every year, the first one would be 31st of December 18. Second one is here, 31st of December 19. Because this will continue until the last question, uh, which is the last part on part C. But I'm telling you, it will involve a stretch of three accounting period or three financial year, where the current year is this. This is the prior year and this is the prior year. You also, uh, that, that is uh, 400,000 here that was under operating lease. So that qualify that to be a PPE. 
you also own the company also own the properties that were held for different purposes the year end of the company is as at 31st of december uh, the every year so that was the year end so part a part a is nothing to do with uh, the figures yet it was just an idea of how to classify so you are asked to identify which of this building are not an IP, not an IP. So the keyword is that it is not an IP. Which of these are not an IP? Not IP. So you need to just identify two. Maybe there are more than two. But once you identify two, you can stop. Because you got the answer right by that time. The first one. Okay, you need to tell me whether there is an IP class or if it's a not an IP. Waken building. Waken building. Right? Waken building means the building is empty. Waken building that will held under operating lease. Is this an IP or not an IP? Uh, Adriana, this one. IP. IP. What is the keyword that tells you it is an IP? Second and operating lease. Operating lease. So it was held under operating lease and it was also a vacant building. Next one, uh, I will call Adlina. Adlina, building lease to another company Hi, under, Madam. yeah, the second one, Adlina. Building lease under finance lease, you lease not to an another IP. company. IP not or IP. not an IP? Not IP. Not an IP. Why, Adlina? Uh, because lease to another, under a finance, another Company under finance lease. Yes, under a finance lease to another company. Right, so that means you have first answer for this part of not an IP. You already got one here. One out of two now. Next one, land held for capital appreciation. Is this an IP? Land held for capital appreciation. Uh, Akila. Yes, IP. IP because the definition of IP includes the word capital appreciation and applies for land. So this is an IP. Next one. Uh, next one. Uh, let us have Nasrullah. Property held for use in the production of goods. Nasrullah. IP. IP. Or not an IP, this one? Uh, no. Not an IP. So what is this actually, if it's not an IP? Uh, production of goods, property health. So it is going to be classified as? Not IP. Not IP. It will be classified as PPE under MFRS 116. So you already have the answer, but why not we just look at the last one in case we might have three two IPs or three not IPs. So that is, let us just check on that. Um, this part, property, property that are held for the future use as an IP. Future use as IP. Property you construct now, but in the future it will be an IP. What is this? Is this an IP or a PPE? Who like to answer this? Class? Zaref, are you there? IP. IP. Someone has answered for me. Okay, IP. Yes, this is an IP because you are going to use that in the future as IP. All right. That was the first part. Quite easy peasy. Now we go to the second one. The second one is on the uh, information of uh, the fair value. And also you are informed a few things. But before that, look at the requirement before we read the question. In the second part, you are asked to discuss, discuss accounting treatment for the building, uh, which is the IP building in, in Sedap Rasa, the one that we purchased on 1st of January 2018. You are asked to explain what happened for the year ended 31st December 2018 and 2019. At the same time, you are asked to show the journal entries for that two years. Two years. Okay, let's do make the plan first. And before we make the plan, 
Uh, let us uh, read the question. So we have the fair value of the building in Pekan on 31st of December 2018 to be 9.09 uh, million. And you have another one which is 8720 that was on 31st of December 2019. The 31st of December 2019. And for the IP, yeah, for the IP, you are informed there in the question that the company is using the subsequent measurement for IP using the fair value model. For the PPE, later you will see there is a PPE in part C because of the transfer. So for PPE, it uses revaluation model. You can see that I'm using different highlights, different highlighter because I'm relating to the similar information. And information on IP are all mostly I use a green except for the changes in fair value that I uses uh yellow and light blue so you are asked to discuss the accounting treatment so when you once you have done that you need to take note that the there is a change in the value on the date 31st of december 2018 so your fair value here is given in the question just now was eight uh, was 9.09 .09 and 8.72 so I put it here 9.09 .09 and the one here 8.72 million and you are going to use a fair value model so under fair value model you are going to look at what is the change in fair value to see whether there is a gain or there is a loss on the fair value change. So this is our target to find whether gain or loss. To do that, the gain will be when the fair value is more than the carrying value. The loss would be when the fair value is less than the carrying value. Okay. So on this date, first 31st of December 2018, you will have this... Uh, initial cost to be your carrying value you will compare with the carrying value which is the initial cost on 1st of january 8.59 and you will get the different here so if you take the different this will give you a fair value gain and that fair value gain will be 0 0.5 million 500,000 that was for the first year here so you need to go and explain that changes in fair value in your accounting treatment. And remember on the same date as well, there was uh, some uh, rental uh, income that you receive until the end of the year. That should also be explained in your accounting treatment if possible. But in this question, uh, you will see that the marks allocated is a little bit just... Uh, four marks, so there will be no explanation for that. Most of the time, make sure you explain the details, even if marks allocated may not uh, be awarded, but you are at the safe side. Next is um, I change a different color here. Okay. On the second year, somewhere 31st of December 2019, the fair value was 8.72. And now you are going to do the next uh, fair valuation where you are going to compare the fair value this year with the carrying value. So the last year's fair value will now be the carrying value. So the carrying value is 9809 million. So there is a difference. How much is that? So carrying value is more than the fair value. So there is a fair value loss. That fair value loss is how much class? Can you calculate that for me? 
370,000. Okay, 0 0.37 million or 370,000. So this is the one that you will debit to your IP, you will credit to your SOPL, and that will be 0 0.5 million. And this is the one that you will debit to your uh, SOPL as your fair value gain and you will credit to your IP with 0 0.37 million. This is just roughly the journal entry and do not forget to do for this as well. Debit IP credit bank with the amount 8.59 million. But don't do this here, do this properly. So let's see what we have here in our answer. And bear in mind that this 400,000 per month uh, by right 20, uh, 31st December 2018, 31st of December 2019, you will have a rental income that you must consider which is 400,000 times 12 month. And that should be 4.8 million. So that should be done for both years. Yeah, by right. That is the requirement. Okay, let's look at what we have in the part of journal entry and also on the discussion. I shall share with you the answer here. So you can see here, I've already prepared this part. The first one that I'm showing here is the first sentence which talks about initial recognition and measurement. So this part is on initial recognition, the one here. Where you say that the building is being classified uh, as uh, an investment property since it was held for rental. So that was talking about the initial uh, recognition. And you mentioned that it was at the figure 8.59 million. So this one is talking about initial measurement. Initial measurement of how much? of 8.59 million initial measurement just change the color for a while okay right so that was the first part the second one is uh, the uh, information on the fair value model so fair value model was adopted how do i know because the information tells you so that fair value model was adopted for investment properties for the investment properties Right, and you have under that fair value model ch changes in the in their fair values will have to be recognized in the statement of profit or loss. For the first year, that is thirty first of December two thousand eighteen. What you do in workings, you reflect here. Gain on the change of fair value uh, of how much five hundred thousand shall be credited to the statement of profit or loss. That one I label it as subsequent measurement one as M one. And in contrast, uh, in that uh, next year, you have a fair value loss. Here there is a fair value loss. And that fair value loss of 370000 where you have the current fair value on 31st of December 2019 compared with the previous fair value on 31st of December 2018 that was giving a difference of 370,000 that will be written off as expenses written off as expenses where in the sopel for that year so you need to also mention that under the fair value model the building shall not be depreciated as you can it uses fair value model okay Next, uh, you can also uh, mention about the carrying value of 8.72 that will be shown in the statement of financial position as at 31st of December. The reason I mention on this is because um, there will be a transfer later in 2020. So there, the, the carrying value of the IP before the date of transfer is this 8.72 which is the one as at 31st of December. How Now you have the journal entry here. For the journal entry, you have a journal entry that was allocated marks in this question is just these three. But my suggestion is also to include the journal entry on 
the rental income, the one that was 4.8 million given in the information here, the one here. This one. Include this as well because that was 400,000 per month. Make sure you also include the future economic benefits generated by that rented building uh, that you purchased on uh, 1st of January 2018 that you have earned the income. So, but this is not given marks in this uh, answer or in this solution. But if uh, wherever the marks are um, not sure, you should include that. But at this moment, if you were to do it, it will be done here. I just do it here, debit, maybe if you receive it, debit bank, for that two years, number one and number two, or debit rent receivable, if it's accrued but has not been received, and credit rental income, if you have that, and that should be 4.8 million, 4.8 million. For both 2018 and 2019, that should be also included, if possible. Next, let us move to the journal entry that you can see here. So this is for initial recognition and measurement. This is the one that I have done for you uh, earlier on, on the planning section just now, and also the fair value loss. So make sure you do that. You get five marks for that. Next, we'll move on to the transfer. Okay, transfer is here. In 2020. So, remember, uh, in 2020, the management now has made another decision for the company, Sesedap Rasa. So, um, let us look at what happened. So, they made a decision to use the building as an admin office in 2020. When was the date? Uh, they decided maybe earlier, but somehow the building was vacated and eventually used as an admin building on 1st of July 2020. And now it was being transformed to admin building. So here there is a transfer. So this is a transfer of IP to PPE transfer from IP which is from rented building to owner occupied property to PPE. For office building it's now being used as admin before that it was held for rental. So there is a change in use. So there is a change in use. And when does that happen, class? When does that happen? Anyone? One July. One First July. of July, yes. Good. So this is the important date. But before that, I have some something to draw for you here. Okay, I'll be doing it here. So here you have 1st of July 2020, which is also 31st of December. 19. And remember on this date, your carrying um, value is the fair value on that date which is 8.72 million. And this is, at this date, it is still an IP and you know when it was still an IP on this date, you use fair value model on this date. And then somewhere here, which is on 1st of July, 2020, there is a transfer. And that was because there is a change in use from rental to admin use, which means that from IP to P, P, E. So that was the change. Sorry about that. It just go up and down the way it please. Alright. So this is the change. Okay, on this date, the carrying value was 8.72. Okay, we go on reading the question. You are informed on this date, 1st of July 2020, which is on this date here. 
The fair value of the building has been determined. The fair value is 8.66 million. And, and therefore, on this, on this day is where there is a date of uh, the, the use of the building has now changed. And on this date, uh, onwards from 1st of July 2020 until 31st of December 2020, if we talk about the current year, this would be a PPE. For this six months, it is a PPE from this time onwards. And that will use re valuation revaluation model. So you will use revaluation model. How do I know? The question says so. Before that, it was an IP. And it was an IP since 1st of January 2018. And this is MFRS 140. And here you use fair value model. Okay, that's, that, that is what happened. Okay, now let's just look at what happened for the remaining useful life. For the useful life. Remember, earlier on, when you acquire the machine on 1st of January 2018, I'm going to use red so that, that it will clearly distinguish things. On this date, the estimated useful life was 50, correct? Here, the remaining useful life will be how much? 40? Nine. Here, the remaining useful life will be 48. And on the date of transfer, here is the date of transfer here, 1st of July 2020. On the date of transfer, the remaining useful life would be 47.5 years. Do you agree, class? Because that was after two and a half year. One, two, and this is half year. After two and a half year, we need to identify that 47.5, which is from here. R-U-L is 47.5 years. Here, E-U-L is 50 years. Why do we need to do that? Because under revaluation model, you still have to calculate on subsequent measurement what are the subsequent accumulated depreciation. You need to go and calculate that. So what we're going to do now is first you're going to compare this with the fair value, carrying value. You will get that to be fair value loss. You will get a fair value loss of 8.72 minus 8.66. That one is for you to uh, go and explain this one. How much? I am, I think that's 60,000. Yeah, 60. And you also need to explain about the revaluation model. What was the depreciation starting from 1st of July 2020 onwards? Because in this question, you are also informed it uses monthly basis. It uses monthly basis. So how do I know these are all given here? You are informed it uses monthly basis. And on top of that, Remember, this information that I used red earlier on, that was for this uh, property. I used red, right? So I will be consistent with that red. Okay. Plan and equipment, it uses monthly basis. So that should be the same as what you will be doing in case it is a PPE. So you will use depreciation. Uh, monthly basis on cost, sorry, on the um, remaining useful life and it uses revaluation model. So let's see what we have to explain on this important date, which is the date of transfer. Let's look at what we have done here. So start with the date of transfer, which is on 1st of July 2020. 1st of July 2020, 
Okay, this first of July twenty twenty. So this is where you have uh, the item relates to transfer. There was a transfer from IP to PPE. Why? Because there is a change in use. What was the change in use from rented property, right? Rented property to be owner occupied property, admin use. And you need to mention uh, what was the fair value of IP on the date of transfer. It was given the question to be 8660. Then mention about the difference between the fair value on the transfer date on 1st of July 2020, which is 8660, this one, compared with the previous carrying amount, 8720, and you have 60,000, the loss. That loss will be recognized in the SOPL. For the year ended, when was it? It will be recognized in the SOPL for the year ended. I put here. For the year ended 31st of December 2020. That will be recognized in the SOPL. Right. Why? Because that happens in that year. Next is starting from 1st of July 2020, the company will also need to uh, recognize depreciations and that depreciation of uh, how much? 182315. Can you take your calculator? Take the carrying value, yeah, carrying value or which is the fair value divided by the remaining useful life for 47.5 years on that date. Do you get... 182315 class? Yes. Yes, you had you have that right? Shown as expense. I put here shown as expense, right? For the depreciation. Uh, and that is the amount. And at the end of the year, your carrying value would be actually 8660 minus 182. 315 if you were to explain what happened on 31st of december 2020 it shouldn't be shown as 860 anymore it should be 8660 uh, minus 182315 however you are not asked to explain on that date you are just asked to explain on 1st of july 2020 so i will not explain that part because you are just asked to explain on 1st of july 2020 Okay, that's it for the uh, the discussion of the answer. I hope you have benefit from that discussion.